Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I apply black eyeliner on the top and bottom of my eyes. The emphasis of this look is just having really sharp eyes, but having very natural looking skin. I won't be applying foundation, but I'll just be spot concealing. I'll be covering up this red dot here, just making sure my face look really light and clean, but really sharp looking eyes. So let's go. I'm gonna start with MAC Strobe Cream. This is in pink light. So this, for me, really transforms um, dull skin. Onto my brows, I'll be using two different brow colors today. I'll start off with Banging Brunette, just to apply all over my brows, and then enhance the tail with Medium Brown by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I like to draw out the shape of my brows before I start filling them in. Okay, now that we've got a guideline, I'll just go back and pick up more of it and just gently brush it through. I'm sorry, I can't talk when I'm doing my brows. I like to comb it through while I'm applying it just to see if I need to add more. For this look, I'll be intensifying my brow a little bit more than usual just because my eyes will be really sharp. Because if my eyes are really sharp and my brows are just like, hmm like there's no cohesion. So I'm liking how the front is looking. I'm just gonna intensify my tail with Anastasia. And then I'm just combing it through. And now I'll be going in with Moonshot Dark Spot Concealer. I'll just be applying this under my eyes and on my red spots just to cover any imperfections. This concealer is one of my favorites. It smells really good and it has a really good coverage and it doesn't crease up. And just to set everything in place, I'll be using Sephora's Micro Smooth Baked Face Compact Powder. This is in the color medium number 25, big fluffy brush. I'm just pressing it in before I swirl it out. Just to give my face some dimension, I'll be using the same Sephora's compact powder, but this one in Deep number 60. They're both really good products because they're really blendable and you can build on it. Like this one is really intense. So smart Corey forgotten to press the record button but you didn't miss out much. What I did was I just applied the bronzer all over the outer part of my face, on the hollows of my cheeks, on my forehead, on my jawline. Sometimes it can look a bit harsh if you're doing it quickly. And what I did after that was I took a big fluffy brush, took some of the, the, the number 25 medium powder from Sephora and just pounced it all over my face, pounce it and then swirl it in. Go light-handed. And then once you see everything's blended out like this, you can move on. Moving on to blush. Today I'll be using Sephora's Oh My Gosh. It's like a burnt orange, red, coral color. Once you put it on your skin, it gives you this really, really pretty flush. Cause sometimes pink can look a little bit artificial, like it's not natural. But this color, I promise you, <laughs> You know. This color, I promise you, is really, really pretty. I don't know, I just like that really animated look with bright red and then followed with like faded red. I'm really horrible at explaining. I'll just show you as I go. So I go, tap, tap, tap. It's almost like you're applying highlighter but apply more on the apples of your cheeks. And then I'm going back in with my fluffy brush just to blend things out properly. You see that harsh line there, like brown and then red? I'm just gonna blend it out just to make sure it's not too harsh. This is by far my favorite brush. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it in my previous videos. I'm just going to Sephora and try and pounce it on your hand or your face. It's not that hygienic, but like just see how soft it is. I'll be using Anastasia Glow Kit and today I'll be using Moonstone. 
I have to be careful when I apply it down the bridge of my nose just because it can be a little bit dry. I try to apply more moisturizer if I know I'm going to do that. For my eye look today, I won't be applying any glitter to it. I'll just be sticking to matte colors. So I'll start with the same bronzing color from Sephora in number 60 and just applying it all over the lid. Make sure to apply it as close to your brow line. I used to just apply it on the bottom bit and then there was this one little section that was just like piercing through. It's like a ray of sunshine, but I don't want that ray. I'll show you what I mean on the other eye. This is where I'll stop. Because I've already set the limit here as opposed to going it all the way up. The other darker color is just gonna be down here. Do you know what I mean? And I'm also just gonna bring it down the bridge of my nose just to create a sharper looking nose. And then I'm just gonna smooth it out with a fluffy brush. To create more depth, I'll be using Makeup Forever's number 656. This is a really good color to have if you like to do natural eye color. A lot of the palettes that have brown in them are mostly black brown or reddish brown. And this is more like a cool brown. So sometimes that can look red on your eyes as opposed to brown if you're not applying like an intense amount of it. If you have hooded eyes like mine, I sometimes just look that straight in the mirror and then wherever the top creases, I just go over it because if I do that, I can't really tell where the crease is and sometimes the lid can just swallow the color and you can't really see the dark brown. Whereas if you just look that straight in the mirror, look at where the crease is and gently apply a little bit and then just keep adding to it, that way it's easier. The goal of this look is just to create soft looking brown eyes with a really sharp black wing. I used to be really really bad at doing eyeshadow just because I'm not familiar with my eye shape and when you look at other beauty gurus you, you're like why can't I do that I don't have that much eyelid space and like it just gets a little bit daunting but if you just take your time and just play around you'll get to know your eye and you know what looks good on you. I'm going back in with my trusty elf blending brush I'm just gonna go through what I've just done just to blend things up properly. Let's move on to the lower eyelid. Going back in with this bronzing color that I used earlier. Apply it on the bottom of my eyes. Don't go too crazy, but just enough for it to show even after you've applied your mascara. Going back in with the Makeup Forever eyeshadow. I think it's called Chestnut. The same tapered brush just focus this on the outer corner so just somewhere there i'm gonna blend it out and now we can begin on the eyeliner for my wing today i'll be using Too Faced sketch marker this is in black i tried black and matte black i was initially going to get matte black thinking that it was going to be really dark but then it turned out ashy when it dried up so if you want it to be jet black get black so to create the wing i'll start from the outer corner of my eyes and i'll just flick it out okay so i think that's a pretty good wing but now my problem is i gotta match it to the other side if it doesn't, I'll just have a lopsided wing. Sometimes if it doesn't work, you just gotta bend the felt tip a little bit and then ink will come out. Yeah, that's good. Okay, moving on. My bottom eyelid. I'll be using Marc Jacobs High Liner Gel Crayon in Black. I just got this as a sample when I ordered from Sephora the other day. And I've used it once. It's really good. I just wouldn't buy black eyeliner for this expensive. I remember it was retailing for like 30 if not more when I could just get any black eyeliner that does the same thing. Okay, we're going in. I 
I think it makes your eye look sharper but not necessarily bigger because you're defining the line as opposed to letting the shadow be part of your eye shape. But I like how sharp it is. I think I will buy this in full price once I've run out because it's really good. I'm not sure how you like to put on your makeup but normally when I put on my makeup I either have my outfit on or I have it in mine and I know what colors I'm gonna be wearing and I'll try to match it with a little bit of my makeup like for example I'm using a grey top today so I'll go in with my jumbo eye pencil from NYX so it's like a shimmery eyeshadow stick so I'll be applying this on the inner corner of my eyes just so it matches a little bit you know what I'm saying you can skip this part if you don't like it. And then with my pinky, I just blend it out. I'm just gonna put on lashes real quick because you've got sharp wings, simple eyes. A full set of lashes will just make it look that extra bit better. Any look with lashes will look good, but if you don't like lashes, don't force yourself. Because when I started using them, I really, really didn't like them because it's either I'm applying it wrongly or my eyes are just super sensitive. It hits me in a wrong way every time I blink and I always have the urge to just tear it off. So if you don't like false lashes, don't apply it. Only if you're comfortable with it. Nothing looks good if you're uncomfortable or if you're not confident about it. I'm just waiting for my lashes to dry now and looking at what needs fixing. Pretty, pretty blush. Just focus on the apples of my cheeks. Doesn't the blush look good? My favorite blush now. I'll just apply some Burt's Bee lip balm. Peppermint. I've been using this for at least three years. For my lips, I'll be using ColourPop's Ultra Blotted Lip. It goes on like a gloss, but it dries completely like velvet, and it's not drying, that's the crazy thing. And second application is amazing. I tried it today, and it's just good. It's just really good. I really like this lip formula and the color especially with this look with my blush. The best way to describe this formula is Korean lip stain plus liquid lipstick. So liquid lipstick sometimes can be a little bit heavy, like it's really pigmented. And when you leather it on your lips, it's just really strong. And lip stain can be a little bit too light, too natural. And this is just like bang in the middle. I'll just give you a closer look. This is really good at catching the root of the lashes as opposed to pinching the wrong part of the lashes. Because the last thing you want is having weirdly curled lashes. I have to say, this alone without false lashes is not good. Like, it doesn't do anything to it. And for my mascara, I'll be using Telescopic Extra Black. And that is the end of the look. I'll give you a close up. That's it for this look. If you want to go ahead and spray some face mist, you can go ahead and do that. But as soon as I click the record button, this is all coming off because it is currently 2 a.m. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Thank you for watching my video. Bye.